Admitted Charleston church shooter Dylan Roof was assaulted in jail this morning. Charleston County Sheriff's deputies say it happened in the protective custody unit when inmate Dwayne Stafford was able to leave his cell and attack Roof. Stafford is in the Charleston County Jail for strong armed robbery and assaulting a police officer as well as providing false information to police. News 2's Macy McLeod is live outside the sheriff's office with more on what Sheriff Al Cannon says happened today. Macy, good evening. Carolyn, the sheriff tells me Dylan Roof was on his way to the shower when the assault happened and Dwayne Stafford was able to run through a door that was supposed to be locked. Shouldn't have been able to get out of that door. One of the, the first things you do before you take any of the inmates out is ensure that the locks uh, are, are functioning on the doors and the doors are in fact locked. Dylan Roof has been in solitary confinement since his arrest. Officers are supposed to be monitoring him at all times, including in the shower. All the doors are locked. He comes down the stairs and goes into the shower. There's nobody else in there but the two detention officers, normally. But that was not the case today as one detention officer was on break and the other left the area to bring another inmate some toilet paper. The sheriff says it seems to be a coincidence. There's no indication at this point that there was any kind of coordination of uh, events. Uh, that, again, the con we're going to continue the investigation and look into those, those kinds of aspects. Dylan Roof has bruising on his face and back. It appears as though he was punched by Stafford. We have since learned in communicating with Dylan Roof and his attorney, Ashley Pennington, that they have no desire to pursue charges against individual Dwayne Stafford. The sheriff says at the least, this is a sign of complacency within the detention center staff. This certainly serves as a work wake up call to all of us concerned. And it is obvious that uh, all in, up and down the chain, we have to ensure that our folks uh, do not fall prey uh, to uh, the routine and that they pay attention uh, to uh, both the procedures, which are the designed to protect the inmates and, and staff alike. And at the very least, it, it doesn't appear that that was uh, followed in this case. The investigation is ongoing, including looking into the locks on the cell to see if there are any technology glitches. Live in Charleston County, Macy McLeod, News 2.